what it do it's your girl Deja. welcome back to my channel and i have a guest for y'all today <laughs> hi this is kiana this is my chair sister and today we have a lovely video plan for y'all okay tell them the plan kiana um so we're gonna be answering questions about cheerleading yeah basically so it's like a girl a, a chair sister chit chat basically a chair sister chit chat with a bagel because <laughs> i have not eaten so y'all gonna be seeing me eat while she talking okay yep. so fair okay so first question what is your definition of a cheerleader I think a cheerleader is a person that's able to uplift the crowd when, like, y'all losing. <laughs> <laughs> a cheerleader, if you're an actual cheerleader, you know how to lift the spirit. You know how to, you know how to motivate your team. Right. You know how to motivate your team. You, if you're a cheerleader, I feel like you, you should be the most positive person. Like, you shouldn't be negative inside like if you're actually a cheerleader if you're actually a, pos a positive person it's gonna show as a cheerleader what do you think i think a cheerleader is a person that embarks positivity so like you said uplift mm -hmm. the spirits of the crowd uplift the spirits of your team like i know we used to like go on the side well we were already on the sideline but like go closer to the field to like actually communicate with our football players to be like, y'all got this, exactly. like, come on, even if y'all losing. Right, even if they losing, you just have we're to like, be like, yeah, the, we're proud of you, blah, 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 blah. Like, it don't matter, yeah. like, you did it. Even if you're losing, it's like, fine. have fun with the game. <laughs> Should cheerleaders be treated like athletes? What? <laughs> if only you heifers knew. Should we, How much? Okay, first of all, <laughs> let's put this out there. Cheerleading is officially a sport. A sport. It's an Olympic sport, so you could compete on a higher level. Okay, so don't ever, <laughs> don't ever play with us again because y'all not lifting nobody. So what okay? does that mean? So what does it mean for cheerleaders to be athletes? Cheerleaders are athletes because. We tumble. Well, you have to tumble. We tumble. We condition. Mm hmm You have to lift we, up heavy girls. We, They're yes. not all skinny and light. Right. Not the ones you Different bad. sizes, shapes, attitudes. It's just a lot. Okay? It's a sport because you have to have... And it's competitive. It's a competitive sport, too, mm -hmm. because... Ain't nobody better than... Like... Ain't nobody better than my charity team. It's, it's that kind of mentality. And that, if it's that kind of mentality with it, it's a sport. Okay. Next question. What do you think are the most important things that make a team successful? Um, it starts with your coaching and then your captains and then the people that you select to be on your team. So you can't have a coach that belittles you. <laughs> it starts with your coaching. You can't have a Look, coach that she's speaking truth. belittles you and doesn't help uplift you when you guys are doing things wrong or um you can't have them belittle you like you can't be told like you're not this good you're not that like how can i be better exactly. and then with your captains your captains are like another coach because they're there to lead the team when the coach is not there so if the coach is not good, but your captain is great. It might balance out, but you can't have a bad coach and a bad captain because exactly. you're going to no suck. Order. There's no order. So basically, she's answering all the questions for me because I feel like the foundation and the foundation starts with the coach and the captain because those are the first two people that are introduced to those girls. And if your attitude and your 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 way of teaching is off from the start. Your whole team is going to be off, especially as a coach. If you don't know what you're doing with that set of girls, then if you don't have a plan for them, if there's no, like, foundation, mm -hmm. like, that's the most important thing. The communication, your captains, like, 
Yo, captains, y'all do work, okay? Captains do more work than the coach, okay? The coach is there to keep balance. Captains mm -hmm. have to talk to each of the girls, have to make sure nobody beefing, <laughs> make sure, like, everybody is cool. You have to know where everybody periods. It's just, like, communication and foundation is everything. Um, you could also say, like, a bond. So, I know when I was on the team, well, I graduated already. So, while I was on the team... We all had a sisterhood, basically. That's what it was. So we had a, our coach was like another mother to us. Our captain was like our big sister. Our big sisters, like we could come to each other during any point in time and like talk to each other and just like have a blast. Right. So like practices were fun. Practices were fun. Like, so it wasn't it was like, never, Ugh, I have to go to practice. Right. It was never like, I have chair practice. Uh, I have homework. It was like we were in class together. Like, it was and never home, about and in the hallways. Anything. Like it was lunch. never about homework, quizzes. Practice was like our safe place. Like we enjoyed each other's company, and that's how it should be. You feel me? If you come for one, your sister, you gotta deal with the whole team. Yes. Yeah. If you had another issue, if you had an issue with another cheerleader, how would you handle it, Captain? If if you had an issue with another cheerleader. Okay, so, like we said, foundation, communication. If you, whenever something, I feel me as a person that I am, whenever it's a situation at hand and that situation is, like, right in front of you, handle it. Like, don't let it sit. Don't, don't think about it. Don't just, why did you do that? I didn't appreciate that. I didn't like that. Like, just say it. F figure it out then and there. Don't let it, like hang because if you do that it's going to build more tension you're going to be uncomfortable the girl going to you're going to be picking up signs from her if she doing shit that, you know sorry my language <laughs> but you're going you're going to be thinking too much so whenever you have an issue with somebody on your team and y'all have this foundation y'all need to address it because it's not only going to affect you it's, it's going to affect the rest of the team because you won't be talking to your teammates oh she did this she did that i don't like especially her. if you're stunting and you're in a group exactly. together exactly so y'all just have to talk about it whenever it's like really bothering you if you feel like you can't speak to the person that's a problem First if you can't speak to the person. And if you can't speak to them, speak to your coach. Speak to your captain. Mm -hmm. That's what they're there for. Especially your captain. If you if you tell your captain, I bet you that the situation would be handled the way it should be. She's going to probably sit y'all down and make y'all talk. So, yeah. Just talk about it. Don't try to hide it. Don't try to hide your discomfort. Because if you really have an issue with somebody, it's uncomfortable. Because you see them every time. Like, if you want to punch like a girl in the face, you can't. I can't handle that. I'd be like, I want to punch you in the face, and this is why. <laughs> That's so, so passive-aggressive. I'm saying, like, if you really have a problem with them. Um, outside of school, did you guys hang out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're basically friends. Because everybody enjoyed each other's company. We mm -hmm. had bonding. We go on dates and all together. Yeah. Like, we, we just do stuff together. That person is way too much to be to get us together. Oh, y'all, yeah, I got a piercing. I haven't Can't been nobody here. see it. Okay. But look, the girl is cute. <laughs> I haven't been, I haven't recorded. Jesus, let's not talk about that. Exactly. Um, okay. <laughs> this one to come off my head. What was your favorite experience on the team? Like your favorite thing that we did? I enjoyed a lot of our, our time together. But the most, I feel like the most special day was that day go, Coach gave us those jackets. Oh my God, I oh cried so God. bad. Like, we were in Fridays. We was all crying. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> was crying. It was like, oh my God. And then the people were just like, oh. And then they just see a bunch of kids just crying with jackets. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, that was beautiful. Thank you, Coach. I love you. Um, yeah, I like that. Um, what was it? I have two. I think our Christmas parties. Because yes. remember, dance battles. <laughs> oh my God, our Christmas, Christmas party. party. I have a video of it. Really? We yeah. We're going to put it on. Okay. Sometime. Yeah, so our little dance battles. It was going to tell you all. We're not posting. <laughs> <laughs> we're 
Mm -hmm. Um, and like the rides to competition practice because we were all like lap up and everything. Yes, the rides. That's what yeah. I was going to say too. And one day we were coming from uh, competition practice, and it just so happened like everybody's parents' car just lined up to each other at the stoplight. And we're like waving at each other and recording each other and dancing through the windows. Sounds good. Man. Oh, we did do that. Yeah. Sorry. What do you want for future high school cheerleaders to get? I would say if you're transitioning from middle school cheer or if you don't cheer at all and you were planning on cheering in high school, you want to make sure you get involved with the cheerleading program before you start school mm -hmm. so you could build that bond so you could know the cheers so when it's time for tryouts and all that other stuff you like i don't got nothing to worry about <laughs> right so if you get a head start i feel like that's that's the best thing to do i would say if you're able to if you're able to contact the coach ask her for information that mm -hmm. you feel like you, you're gonna need and you know just just practice if you have no experience at all watch videos watch my videos <laughs> you know and like just you have if you have like a skill that you think is going to be required or a skill that you don't have practice that too like your round off so your back walkovers you know just a little basic foundations because you're most likely going to be on jv unless you have a back handspring and higher um you could also like make friends with the cheerleaders that are on the team now I know I did. I was friends with Ivana before I started. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So like I would talk to Ivana about it, and I was like, I don't want to do it. Uh, she was like, Do it with me. Yeah. I don't want to do it by myself. No, she was already she on it. She was already on it. Yeah. yeah she was, she was. So I was like, uh, I don't know. Y'all look mean. Oh, question: Who did you think was the meanest on the team when you came on the team? When I came on the team, Shaya. <laughs> I'm like, I don't like this girl. She was mean. She was mean to you. She was like, why does it look like that? I was like, I do not like this girl at all. Yeah, I could, I could see that. But Shay don't be. Shay was nice to me. Shay your face. Her face. Yeah, definitely. I got Prisha on here so they can see what we're talking about. Shaya, I think when I joined the team, it was a lot of girls on the team. It was a lot of seniors on the team. Mm -hmm. And I was on varsity when I joined the team. Yeah. After tryouts, I got on varsity. So all the JV girls were looking at me like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're better than me? <laughs> but I was nice. So nobody ever really had a problem with me being on JV. They understood that I was... I did yeah. what I just said. Like, I was here in the summer. I was, you know, connecting. So, I feel like nobody really had a problem with me. I mm -hmm. thought Coach was going to be so mean. Mm -hmm. Miss Claire? Mm-hmm. Why? She was... So <laughs> oh, my no. God. No. Let's talk about Miss Porter. When I first met Miss Porter, when, when Angel introduced us to her, at her, I think we went to her room. Uh-huh. And she was like, hey, y'all, y'all gonna be cheering with me. I was like, she looks so mean. I thought she was so mean. mean but she's the nicest person ever. Yeah. Like, what? She looks so mean. And then that day, the, the, the day of the trial, I was like, oh, my God. I was like, I'm not making lady, this team. This lady about to kill us. I was like, damn, what I got to do to stay home? <laughs> what was your least favorite thing about it? About cheering, mm -hmm. the disrespect. <laughs> Cause people disrespectful. Yes, like if you, okay. So remember Rose game? Yes, I remember Rose game. Fans, let me tell you something. If I catch any of y'all outside, it's a front. I don't you know, know why the Rose game was disrespectful. When they turned the lights off because they were salty that our basketball team won against them. So our whole little school was celebrating at their school and they decided to turn the lights off mid-celebration. You don't remember that? Girl, that's not even what I was I know what you're talking about. I'm talking about when they were throwing food. I was food. talking about that football. Oh, I want to fight y'all. When they were throwing food. Yes. <laughs> Disrespectful ass. And we didn't even have a problem with y'all cheerleaders. Like, we cool with y'all cheerleaders. Because we respect. Y'all had that shit. Yeah. But y'all crowd could fuck it. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> no, because y'all are so rude. Y'all children is rude. <laughs> rude is rude. That's the only thing I don't like about children. And, like, I hate I hate the fact that we never had, like, a place to practice just for us. Oh, yeah. Like, I feel like that would have been so much, like, special. Like, so, you know, at Bladensburg High School, can you put some funding into cheerleading, please? And thank you. And we ain't had no maps. <laughs> Just two little things. Right. Every other school got like eight maps, five maps. We had it. two maps, two, two competition maps. For JV and varsity. Like what? Why y'all playing with us, Blade? Why was y'all playing with us? You know what else I used to like? I used to like our Saturday practices at I school. I don't remember those. For competition. Oh. When Colleen ass never came on time. Um, you know what I didn't like? I didn't like when Colleen was late to practice and the team would face some repercussions. <laughs> <laughs> Colleen, we love you, but bitch. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> Dating a football team. <laughs> Dating. Dating a football player. I don't know. I didn't date a football player. I did. <laughs> I did a football player. Well, surprisingly, my football player was a sweetheart. So, yeah, I can't relate. So, don't don't date the football team though, because they are gonna talk about you. Yeah. Especially if you're a cheerleader, mm -hmm. they're gonna talk about you. They're gonna talk about. All the other girls okay, like make team. sure if you're dating someone, please find out if he previously dated someone on your team. Yes, oh my god, big ass topic. Jesus, oh, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Sorry, because if you do that, you've had a lot of they movies. will brag, especially, about, especially new coming, new coming, yeah, like incoming people, incoming people that's joining your team. If you know that there's a new girl and it's like she likes him or he's flirting with her, just be like, look, boo. He a fuck the ass nigga. <laughs> be, real, be, real, be real with them, though. Because if, be real. Like, it's a sisterhood. You don't want her to get her heart broken. Mm -hmm. You don't want her to get embarrassed. So if you know something, just, just talk. Because they will talk. Just talk. And not care. They will tell. They got to be checked. And if you have a coach like ours, you know how she will find coach. out <laughs> every single time. Yeah. So, don't be out here being a hoe. <laughs> Cause they'll coach now. <laughs> <laughs> no. What was your most embarrassing game? Homecoming pep rally. It wasn't a game. Homecoming pep rally. When I had to song with Jakira and drop money. She, she dropped Ivana. Oh yeah, Ivana fell. Ivana fell. Yikes! I remember that. I was crying. I was so embarrassed. Me and Ivana was crying. What was that outside? And then, yeah, in front of the whole school. What y'all crying for? Get that. up. We about to do it again. And then we had to do it again. Oh, my God. Yeah. My most, the most embarrassing game for me. I know a game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember who, but we were doing put. Uh. <laughs> okay. Guys. Yeah, I was doing a, a little chair and my my leg wobbled. <laughs> I stomped a little too hard. My whole body. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was. Like, hilarious I, I, ain't, I ain't think anything happened but apparently everybody saw me I think everybody was like this i think it was because it was the ending right it was, it like was the, the ending one. so everybody was, was like, like this <gasps> laying for Khadija to end so <laughs> all you see is her wobble and everybody dropped to the floor laughing you had the video yes okay we're gonna put that in there <laughs> Okay, y'all. It's been lovely. 
Thank you for coming to our sister, chair sister, chit chat. Oh, we should have one at Coach's house with everybody in it. How about no? But yeah, definitely, I think we should do this with everybody else. But I can't do one by one, that's too much. No. It's going to be a very long video with all of us together because we act like fools. Yes, we're going to make that happen for y'all. I think that would be nice for the stuff. I'm going to post more. I will. <laughs> subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you share it to your chair sisters. You know, we put a lot of tips into this video. Mm -hmm. I hope you grab all of them because they're very useful. You feel me? You feel me? And I we will have a chair like that. Thank you. You want to do a chair? Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. A, a sitting down chair. There's jam and we'll shake it up. Do you remember jam? Yeah. Jam. Bye. Bye. Mustang, shake it up, it up. Shake it up, go, 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 go. Shake it up, my room, my, my, my room. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Mustang, shake it up, it up. Shake it up.